County leaders across green country are calculating the damage in areas that flooded last week. So in some places, a foot of rain damaged homes and washed out roads. News on 6's Emory Bryan has this update for us from Muskogee. With the floodwaters down and detours established, county commissioners can turn their attention to longer term problems, like the road repairs they predict will take months and months. It's because of damage like this on Smith Farm Road, where water washed out asphalt and dirt around a pipe that couldn't handle the flash flood. County Commissioner Ken Doak said he had dozens of blowouts like this on roads in his district. And we still have a lot of roads that are closed and are gonna be closed for a while. The county has started repairs that make some roads passable, but they still have a lot of work to do to make them safe for the long term. Doak says washouts like this are the most common damage to public infrastructure from last week's flood. He's expecting Muskogee County will have enough damage to qualify for federal help. In a lot of ways, we could have uh, as much damage in dollar amount um, as we did in the 2019 floods when we had, you know, record river flooding. County officials are helping add up the damage and say it's easily in the millions of dollars. Inflation means costs are up for asphalt, labor, rental equipment and dump trucks, and the diesel to run it all. Though there's a good chance of federal help with the cost for county governments, it's less certain for individuals. Doug estimates 500 homes in the county had damage. A lot of people with, with water in their homes and, uh, you know, we're, we're hoping that we can get that assistance flowing as quickly as we can. Meanwhile, the county is still making a list of patches that need major repairs while they add up the cost and hope it's enough to get a disaster declaration and the help that comes along with it. In Muskogee, Emory Bryant, Oklahoma's own News on 6.